Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Oblong Polka Dots and my name is Kerr. And on this channel, we talk about makeup, skincare, and beauty. So if that's something you're into, you've come to the right place. Today, I want to talk to you about the Juvia's Place Olori One Palette. I recently hauled this palette, although when I film my videos, you guys, they are never in order, just so you know, so you may be seeing this months later. But I did recently haul this palette and it is gorgeous. Check this out. I made myself a little creamsicle look today and I absolutely adore it. The colors that I used are these three right here. This one, this one, and this one. I have not touched the blues yet, although I want to. I just uh, decided that since I was going to work, I wanted to wear something a little more conservative. Um, I mean, if you can call like a bright creamsicle colored look conservative, probably not. But <laughs> in any event, I think this palette is absolutely gorgeous. As usual, Juvia's Place shadows are very easy to work with. They are highly pigmented. And um, even with this color right here, I was expecting a lot more kind of um, splotchiness or even a little bit of tugging that came with trying to spread out the shadow, but surprisingly, it spread beautifully. And like I said before, these are highly saturated shadows and I don't know. I don't know. What is Juvia's Place doing over there? Whatever, Whatever's going on over there, it's completely working. So if you want to see how I got this look today, then please keep watching. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.